all right class in this session we are going to start with a sub topic combination right in the last class we had discussed about the topic permutation in which we had focused the things in which order matters the most and i told you the example of password right now many students got confused at what is the difference between combination and permutation so the basic difference is in combination there is no specification for any arrangement right you can pick any item with any order there is no requirement of fixed order and i have searched one of the image from the internet which is quite clear regarding the difference between permutation and combination so you can see that a permutation is what arranging people digits numbers alphabets letters colors whenever you are arranging something it leads to permutation let's say keywords are arrangements and arrange these are the keywords for permutation or combination when you are going to select selection of menu food clothes subjects teams so for combination the keyword we have either it's a selection or it's a choice right so whenever you are going to choose someone from the selection of uh, certain categories that means you are dealing with the combination all right the working formula of combination is ncr is equals to n factorial divided by n factor r factorial into n minus r factorial all right we had discussed the similar formula for permutation but in that we have n factorial divided by n minus r factorial in combination that r factorial is an extra part now how to apply the working formula or how to attempt any question let's take an example it says a team of 6 swimmers is to be selected from a group of 20 swimmers now any 6 swimmers can out can be selected from the 20 find the number of different ways in which the team can be selected now we need to select any six swimmers from the 20 there is no certain criteria that the swimmer must be fast he must be slow he can hold his breath to the maximum time there is no certain criteria we need to select any six from the 20 all right so we are going to apply the working formula which is 20 combination 6 you can find out the working of 20 combination 6 from the calculator or if you need to expand the working formula so that will be 20 factorial divided by 6 factorial into 20 minus 6 is 14 factorial right we can simplify it it's 20 into 19 into 18 17 16 15 into 14 factorial divided by 6 factorial into 14 factorial So you can simplify, right? With the help of calculator, you can easily find out the answer of 20 combination. Six leads to three eight seven six zero. So there are so many ways to select six swimmers from a group of 20 swimmers. All right. So whenever you are going to select something, make sure that you are going to apply the combination there not the permutation all right class i hope that the concept of permutation and combination is clear to you now after that i'm going to attempt one of the example in fact you need to attempt it first it's a book example it says three courts and two dresses are to be selected from nine courts and seven dresses find the number of different selections that can be made all right you have nine courts and among those nine courts you need to select any three and among those seven dresses you need to select any two so first give it a try you have a time of uh, 60 seconds or start all right since you have nine courts and out of those nine courts you need to select any three right we have seven dresses out of we need to select any two dresses right so we need to multiply these two so the value of 9 combination 3 it's 84 times 7 combination 2 it's 21 so 84 into 21 it's 1764 that is your final answer all right so let's start with the book question Exercise 10.4. It is from the new book. It says, without using a calculator, find the value of each of the following, and then use the n combination R key on your calculator to check your answer. All right. For the first part, it's five combination one. Working formula says 
five factorial divided by one factorial into five minus four factorial. All right. So it will be five factorial divided by one factorial into one factorial. So basically, we have answer five factorial. Right. You can verify your answer from your calculator. So five combination one it's five and five. Uh, it's five combination one, right? That five minus one factorial, so that leads to one factorial into four factorial. Now it will be five into four factorial divided by one into four factorial cancels, so that leads to five. All right. I hope that it is clear to you. And what you need to do after what a part we need to attempt part C and part F. Part F is seven and four, so it means seven combination four. All right. So you have a time of two minutes. Note down these three and write by yourself first. Then I will show you the answer. So start. All right. For C part, it says four combination four equals to four factorial divided by. Four factorial into four minus four factorial. Right. Keep in mind that zero factorial equals to one. So now it will be four factorial divided by four factorial. Right. You can verify your answer, and which is equals to one from the calculation. After that, we have part F. It says seven combination four. So seven combination four leads to thirty-five. Now we can verify our answer. Seven factorial divided by four factorial seven minus four three factorial. So it will be seven into six into five into four factorial divided by three factorial into four factorial. Four factorial four factorial cancel three factorial is six seven five are thirty-five and that is your answer. So I hope that all of you are clear how to use the combination uh, working formula, like the same way we have attempted the permutation working formula. All right. After that, it's question number two. It says show that eight combination three equals to eight combination five. So first, give it a try by yourself. You have a time of three minutes to start. All right, class. So eight combination three means what? It means eight factorial divided by three factorial into eight minus three leads to five factorial, right? And on the right side, it's eight factorial divided by five factorial. Eight minus five leads to three factorial. On both side of the equation, we have same values, right? It's eight factorial, five factorial, three factorial. So that means one equals to one, or you need to. Show the same value. All right. Moving on to the next question. It's question number three. How many different ways are there of selecting three photographs from ten photographs? Five books from seven books. A team of eleven footballers from fourteen footballers. So first, you need to give it a try for all three parts. They are quite easy, and you have a time of four minutes to attempt all three parts, and then I will tell you the answer. So start. All right. For the first one, it says three photographs from ten photographs, so that will be ten combination three. All right. You can find out the value of ten combination three easily uh, with the help of calculator. So ten combination three, it's one twenty. For part B, five books from seven books, so that leads to seven combination five, and the answer is. 21. For part C, a team of 11 footballers from 14 footballers, so that leads to from 14 you need to select any 11. So 14 combination 11, it's 364. All right, these are your three answers. Easily the working formula for combination we have applied and find out the answer by using calculator. After that, moving on to the next one. It's question number five. Diagram shows two different boxes A and B. Eight different toys are to be placed in the boxes. 
find the number of ways in which the eight toys can be placed in the boxes so that five toys are in box A and three toys are in box B. All right. So total toys we have is equals to eight, right? And out of those eight toys, we are looking for that place five box, five toys in box A and the remaining toys three in box B. So how many different possibilities or selections we have to place five toys in box A? So we have total eight toys. Among those eight, we need to place five in box A. What about the rest? Out of eight, five are placed. That means we have left over with three and we need to place three in box B. All right. Keep in mind that these two numbers, five and three, they represent the total that we need to place. All right. So eight combination five, it is equals to 56 and three combination three, it's one. So the answer we have, it's 56. All right class, so these two numbers represent the selection of those twice that we have, all right? So we need to select eight twice. All right, uh, so moving on to the next one. So question number six, four pencils and three pens are to be selected from a collection of eight pencils and five pens. Find the number of different selections that can be made. You need to find out different selections that can be made and you have a time of three minutes to give it a try so start. All right, now we have eight pencils, right? We have eight pencils and among those eight pencils, we need to select four pencils. So that will be eight combination four multiply. We have five pens and among those five pens we need to select any three of them so we have eight combination four times five combination three eight combination four it's 70 times five combination three it's 10 so 70 times 10 leads to 700 and that is your part six answer all right so that all are easy questions that we had done so far now, this is an example question, a very good question it is. A quiz team of 5 students is to be selected from 6 boys and 4 girls. Find the number of possible teams that can be selected in which there are more boys than girls. Now the condition is very important that we have more boys than girls. So what do you think how you are going to attempt this one, give it a try first. And for this question, we have a time of four minutes. Give it a try to start. All right, class. Now we have different cases here because the condition is quite clear that we are looking for more boys, right? So we have boys and we have girls, right? We have six boys and we have four girls. So the first possibility is that I'm going to pick six boys and there is no girl because I am looking for only 5 students, right? So I can say that it's 6 combination 5 into there is no girl, so 4 combination 0. That is my first possibility, right? I can say that I am looking for not 5 boys. I am looking for 4 boys. If I am selecting four boys, that means I need to pick one girl as well because we need to make a team of five players. So if I am selecting four boys, so that will be six combination four. Now I need to pick one girl, that means four combination one. Keep in mind that these two shows the sum of the persons we are selecting. So we are selecting a team of five members, so four plus one, five, five plus zero, five. And the total strength we have is six boys and four girls. So total strength always in the upper side of the combination. All right. After that, we have either we can pick three boys. And if we are going to pick three boys, then girls must be two. Again, the same reason we are looking for a team of five members. So now it will be six combination three times four combination 2 
and if I make another one, so I'm going to say that there are two boys and there are three girls. But that is not possible. Why? Because the condition says the number of boys should be greater than the number of girls. So here the boys are two and girls are three. So it is not possible. That is why we are not considering it. So what we have is six combination five times four combination zero. So let me find the answer. Six combination five. It's six. All right, because four combination zero leads to one. After that, six combination four, it's fifteen, and four combination one, it's four. The so second one is fifteen into four. Fifteen twos are thirty, and it will be sixteen. And for the last one, it's six combination three, which is equals to twenty into four. Combination two, x equals to six, leads to one twenty. So how many total ways are there? That means we need to add these values: six, sixty, and one twenty. Six plus sixty plus one twenty, that leads to one eighty-six, and this is your final answer. All right, class. So I hope that the concept of combination is clear to you. and keep in mind that whenever you are attempting a question of combination that means we are looking for the selection or choices whenever you are selecting or choosing anything that leads to the topic combination all right now as your homework part as your homework part what we need to do you need to attempt Question number four, as you can see on your screen, how many different combinations of three letters can be chosen from the letters P, Q, R, S, T? So the total letters we have, they are five, right? And the numbers we are going to select, it's three. So not a difficult question. It is we have attempted a more way, a difficult question than this one. So I hope that all of you can attempt it easily. And uh, I think that is quite enough for today's class. What we had done today, we have learned the concept of combination. What is the difference between permutation and combination? Which I have shown you the picture here, right? This one. This one is a quite a good image, right? To clear the concepts of permutation and combination. Keep in mind the keywords are selection and choices for the combination, and arrangement, arrange are the keywords for permutation. So read the question carefully because mostly confusion, uh, mostly students got confused that either we need to apply the permutation here or the combination in a specific question. All right. So what we need to do? We need to read the question carefully, highlight the given conditions, and identify the keywords mentioned on the screen. All right, class. So I hope it is quite enough for today's class. Inshallah, in the next class we are going to continue with the same exercise and make sure that you have done your homework and. I hope that all of you can do it and get the right answer. So see you next class.